The PT86000 is our newest home cinema projector. It has a brighter image going from 2000 lumens with the 85000 to 2400 lumens. So a brighter picture and also has increased contrast ratio from 300000 to 1 to 500000 to 1. So you'll see considerable more details and a more punchier image overall because of the increased dynamic range with the brightness and the contrast. In addition, we have the new 3D Motion Remaster and that enhances significantly your experience of 3D viewing. And what this does is uh, with the 3D Active Shutter System, because the left and the right eye, the shutter has some time lag between the glasses shutter system, that actually causes an incorrect parallax when seeing 3D in motion. And in movies, that's almost all the scenes. But um, what we do with the 3D Motion Remaster is we compensate for the time lag of the shutter um, system, of the shutter glasses, so that you get smooth moving images. And in addition, some of the features that you couldn't touch in uh, 3D before, for example, the lens memory and uh, Keystone, although we don't recommend Keystone, and also zoom and focus, all those can be moved in 3D mode. We are still using the uh, infrared glasses because for a projection system, we expect more people to watch uh, the projector rather than the TV system. So for, for many people to be watching, the IR system is better than the Bluetooth. So that's why we stuck with the IR system for now. Um, some of the changes that we made in the 86 talent optics is we had we added the new 220 watt lamp, a red witch lamp, going from the 200 watt lamp and the 85 thousand. But just by increasing the wattage of the lamp, that increases the internal heat of the projector. So we have to go back to the whole optics and change um, many many parts within the 86000 and one of them for example is the uh, the prism within the projector and before we had the prism on its own but now in the 86000 we actually attach attach the polarization filter onto the prism and that helps cool down the polarization filter significantly so that you still have the same life out of the projector with the increased brightness so Lots of um, engineering has been done to improve the cooling efficiency inside the projector. And also another thing that we changed is the condenser lens. Uh, we have um, a new condenser lens so you get more uh, purity in the primary colors. So you're going to see more rich, vivid colors on the 86 tablet. Um, with the PT85000 and the 6000 and also going back to all the way to the A500, we've always worked to the, together with the Hollywood specialists and the filmmakers so that we can recreate what has originally been intended uh, by themselves when they created those films. And with the AT6000, we made sure together with the filmmakers that we are getting the correct colors in 2D as well as 3D with the improved contrast, brightness, and also the Detail Client Processor 4. Uh, going back to what Detail Client Processor is, is if you have a standard sharp, um, sharpening engine, what that does is it adds sharpness to the whole image. And when that happens, you get a sharper image, but it adds sharpness to everything, so in return you get a flat looking image. But what the DCP does is it analyzes the different frequency, so low, mid, high, super high frequency, and tries to figure out where the, um, the detail is embedded and tries to bring out the detail where a lot of detail is embedded and doesn't bring out, for example, the defocused area so that you get a sharper image, but don't lose the sense of depth as a result. And with the Detail Clarity Process of 4, what we did from the 3 is because we have increased the brightness of the AT6000 from 2000 lumens to 2400 lumens, we started seeing uh, the grain noise and some noises more pronounced than, previous, than before. So what we had to do was uh, we went to analyze not just the frequency, but the pixel by pixel 
brightness difference and took that into account to the DCT4 so we still had the natural looking image. With the AT6000, we offer um, different adjustment tools and we do have the preset Cinema 1 and Rec. 709 uh, in terms of the picture mode, but we have many additional adjustment features. Some of them are uh, split adjust mode and also we now have a new uh, gamma adjustment. Previously on the AT5000, we have a 9 point adjust gamma adjustment. Um, menu. Now we have a 15 point adjustment so that our users can uh, perform more fine tuning and adjustment on the AT6000.